Can you find the area of this blue shaded semicircle? We are given a quarter circle with a radius of 10 units. Inside this quarter circle, a blue shaded semicircle is placed in such a way that its arc is tangent to the bottom edge of the quarter circle like this. And our goal is to find the area of this blue shaded semicircle. You can pause the video and take a moment to think about it. And when you are ready, you can come back to verify your answer. All right, let us solve it together. First, let's mark the center of this blue shaded semicircle and define its radius as R units. That means this length is R units, and this other length is also R units, and diameter will be 2 times R. Now let's draw the radius to the point of tangency like this. We know that whenever a radius is drawn to a tangent at the point of tangency, it is always perpendicular to that tangent. That means this angle here is a right angle, correct? Now look at this green shaded shape. Both of these angles are right angles by the radius tangent theorem, and this vertex angle of the quarter circle is also a right angle that means this fourth angle must also be equal to 90 degrees, right? That means this green shaded shape is nothing but square, and since this is R units, that means this length here is also R units, correct? Now look at this right triangle formed by the radius of this quarter circle and the diameter of this semicircle. Here the base is R units, the height is 2 times R units, and the hypotenuse is 10 units. So using everyone's favorite, the Pythagorean theorem, we have R squared plus 2R squared equals 10 squared. Simplifying this we get R squared plus 4, R squared equals 100, or 5R squared equals 100. Now dividing both sides by 5 we get R squared equals 20. Finally, finding the area of this blue shaded semicircle will be super easy. It will be equal to 1 half times pi times the radius squared. So substituting r squared equal to 20, the area becomes 1 half times pi times 20, which simplifies to 10 pi square units. And that is our final answer. Pretty neat, right? But wait, before you go, here is a bonus challenge. Can you find the area of this blue shaded semicircle in terms of variables x instead of a specific number? Think it through and share your answer in the comments below. Let us see who can figure it out. If you enjoyed this explanation and learned something new, do not forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more fun, brain-teasing math questions. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.